Good morning everyone. My name is Vijay Gupta and you are watching Biology Classes. So welcome to all of you in this lecture of Biology. So students, today I am going to start a new topic that is a nerve cell or the neuron. In this video, I will tell you about the structure and functions of neuron or the nerve cell. So let's start the video. First of all, it is very important to know what the neuron is. Neuron is actually the fundamental or the basic unit of our brain and nervous system. Now, what is the mean of this? Our brain consists of millions of cells which are known as nerve cells or the neurons. So, our brain, our nerves are made up of neuron. Hence, you can say neuron is the structural and functional unit of our brain or our nervous system. So, what is the definition of the neuron? Neuron or the nerve cell are the fundamental unit of the brain and nervous system. Our brain consists of lots of neurons and all the nerves are made up of neurons and with the help of neurons, nerve impulse takes place. Neuron receives and transmits signals to different parts of the body. From the surroundings, our neurons receive the signals with the help of our sense organ. Suppose that we touch any surface that may be cold or warm or hot. So, with the help of neurons, our skin receive the signals and these signals carries by the neurons to the brain and from the brain it carries to the different parts of the body for the response. So, the neuron receive and transmit signals in the form of nerve impulse to the different part of the body. Now, what about the structure of neuron? A neuron or a nerve cell can be divided into two main parts. As you can see in this diagram, I defined there are two main parts. So, first of all, I would like to describe about the diagram and then I will tell you in detail about the theory. So, this is the diagram of a nerve cell or a neuron. As you can see, there are two main parts can be seen in this diagram. The upper almost rounded part is known as cyton while the lower longest part is known as the exon. Yeah, one more fact about the neuron. Neuron is the longest cell of the body and it may be uh, about 90 centimeter to 1 meter long in human beings. So, the neuron can be divided into cyton and exon. The upper part that is about rounded part which is known as cyton. The cyton consists of a single nucleus. Yeah, this is the single nucleus of cyton. The cytoplasm of the cyton consists of different kinds of cell organelles such as mitochondria, Golgi complex, endoplasmic reticulum, etc. One important thing, centrosomes or the centrioles are absent in the cytoplasm of neurons because neurons are unable to divide, hence the centrosome is absent. So, uh, as we know that centrosome helps in the cell division. So, without centrosome, the cell division is not possible in the neuron. So, centrosome is absent here. Now, some important structures which are known as Nissel's granules which are also present in the cytoplasm of neuron. These Nissel's granules are made up of ribosomes and endoplasmic reticulum. Uh, generally, we know that the ribosomes are the protein factories or they help in the process of protein synthesis. So, the function of Nissel's granule is to form the protein means the Nissel's granules helps in the protein synthesis. So, these are the Nissel's granules, these are the myofibrils which all are present in the cytoplasm of the cyton. Cyton is also known as soma or the cell body or the perikaryon. Now, from the outer margins of cyton, some processes arises which are known as dendron. As you can see in this diagram, these are the processes which are known as dendron and these dendrons are further divided into numerous branches which are known as dendrites. So, a cyton consist of a single nucleus, different kinds of cell organelles except the centrosome and a few processes which are known as dendron and these dendrons are further divided into many branches which are known as dendrites. So, it was all about the cyton. Now, the lower part of the neuron is known as exon. It is a long thread like structure. So, we generally call it the nerve fiber. It is also known as nerve fiber. So, in cyton, as you can see, this is the, sorry, this is the exon. The membrane which surrounds the exon is known as exolemma. As you can see here, this is the exolemma. 
Inside the exon, the cytoplasm is filled and the cytoplasm of exon is known as exoplasm. So, this is the exoplasm and this is the exolem. Now, one more thing, a myelin sheath surrounds the exolem. As you can see, this pink colored sheath is known as myelin sheath which surrounds the exolemma. So, exolemma is surrounded by the myelin sheath. This myelin sheath is not regular. This myelin sheath is not regular. It have some gaps as you can see here and these gaps or these absent areas are known as node of Ranvier or the Ranvier node. Another membrane is also present on the myelin sheath which is known as Neurilemma. I made it with green color. So, this green colored portion is known as Neurilemma. So, the basic thing is in the center the exolemma is present. Inside the exolemma exoplasm is filled and inside outside of the exolemma a myelin sheath is present which have several gaps which are at regular intervals. These gaps are known as the node of Ranvier and this myelin sheath is also covered by a membrane that is called Neurilemma. At the base of the exon, several branches are present which are known as telodendria and these telodendria ends in a rounded structure which is known as synaptic nodes or the synaptic knobs which consist of synaptic vesicles and synaptic vesicles is filled with the neurotransmitter. Now what about the neurotransmitter? I will describe in my later videos about the neurotransmitter, about the nerve impulse in detail. So, it was all about the explanation of this diagram. Now, I will tell you in detail about the theory. So, a neuron or a nerve cell can be divided into two main parts, the cyton or the cell body. So, it is the cyton or the cell body. Cyton is the upper part of the neuron. As you can see in the diagram, there are two main parts. The upper one is cyton while the lower one is exon. So, cyton is the upper part of the neuron. It consists of a single nucleus and all the cell organelles. The cyton consists of a single nucleus and all the cell organelles such as mitochondria, Golgi body, lysosome, ex endoplasmic reticulum except the centrosome. So as I told you before, this cytoplasm consists of mitochondria, Golgi complex, endoplasmic reticulum and the centrosome is totally absent here because cell division does not take place in the neuron and the centrosome helps in cell division. Now, Cyton give rise numerous sorry it cytoplasm also consists of Nessels granules. So, Nessels granules are made up of endoplasmic reticulum and ribosome. So, these are red colored structure which are known as Nessels granules and Nessels granules are present for the protein synthesis. Cyton give rise to numerous processes known as dendron. As you can see here this is the cyton and cyton give rise numerous processes which are known as dendrons and these dendrons are further divided into many branches which are known as dendrites. So, these are the branches of dendron and known as dendrites. Now, exon. So, below the cyton exon is present. It is the long unbranched basal part of the neuron. So, exon is the long unbranched and the basal part of the neuron. Its cytoplasm is known as exoplasm. The liquid which filled inside the exo exon is known as exoplasm and the outer layer of the exon is known as exolemma. So, and the membrane is known as exolemma. The junction of exon and cyton is known as exon hillock. So, this is the cyton, this is the exon and the junction of both cyton and exon is known as exon hillock. Now, its terminal end is known as telodendria. The terminal end of cyton, sorry, exon consists of numerous branches which are known as telodendria and which bears synaptic knobs and these telodendria ends in a bulb-like structure which is known as synaptic knobs or the synaptic node which consists of neurotransmitters which is acetylcholine. I will tell you about uh, the acetylcholine later. Exon is surrounded by myelin sheath. This pink colored sheath which surround the exon or the exolemma is known as myelin sheath. It is actually white in color but here I made it with pink color. Exon is surrounded by myelin sheath which is covered by a membrane known as neurilemma and this myelin sheath is also covered by a layer 
which I shown with green color that is called the neurolemma or the neurilemma. So this is the neurilemma and the neurilemma consists of several nuclei. Now myelin sheath is not continuous. Myelin sheath is not continuous. As you can see here, myelin sheath is breaked sometime means this sheath is not continuous. There are several gaps at regular intervals. So myelin sheath is not continuous at regular intervals myelin sheath is absent as you can see here at regular intervals the myelin sheath is absent and these gaps or the absence a absent area is known as node of ranvier so this absent area is called as node of ranvier or the myelin sheath gap so myelin sheath is not continuous it uh, it break or it, it create gaps at several places at regular intervals and these gaps are known as the node of ranvier or the ranvier node or you can say myelin sheath gap so it was all about the structure of nerve cell or the neuron now some important facts about the neuron the nerve impulse actually the cyton consists of dendrites and these dendrites consist of receptor sites and these re receptor site accept the nerve impulse and carries towards the cyton and from the cyton this nerve impulse moves towards the exon and from exon it enters into the telodendria and synaptic node and from the synaptic node this nerve impulse enters into the dendrites of another neuron thus a complete nerve is formed so in short i told you about the function of neuron in my next video uh, i will tell you in detail about the functions of neuron so in this video i told you about the basic structure of nerve cell or the neuron i think all the things are very clear to you uh, still if you want to ask any question then you may ask in the comment section so it was all about neuron in this lecture thanks for watching have a good day